What's up guys and welcome to this video on question 7 of the 2018 final exam. Um, this video is on electric circuits and let's get into the question. Okay, so a battery with an EMF of 6 volts and an internal resistance of small r is connected in series with two resistors, each of the same resistance r. Okay, um, and we can see this, and there is a 0 0.6 amp current going through the entire circuit. Um, okay, then it says the same battery is now connected to two resistors, also at a constant R, but now in parallel. Uh, the current I2, so I2 is uh, 1.5 amps this time. Okay, so we've got some definitions up front, first two questions actually. Okay, so the first question is define resistance. Resistance is a material's opposition to the flow of electric current. Okay, and we get two marks for that. And 7.1.2, our EMF is the total energy supplied per coulomb of charge by the cell. Okay, and another two free marks. Cool stuff. Then okay, question 7.1.3 says consider the circuit in diagram 7a, so the top one, and write an expression to uh, or write an equation to express the EMF in terms of I1, R, and uh, big R. Okay, so um, from the formula sheet, I'm looking at the second column, second row. We can see that EMF equals I, R external plus R. Okay, so EMF is equal to I, R external plus R, or small r, or the internal resistance. Okay, so again, we have the EMF is equal to this time. Instead of I, we're going to replace it with I1. The R external here is that um, R, uh, there's two in series, so it's going to be 2R plus small r. Okay, um, if we wanted to, so this answer is perfectly acceptable, but if we wanted to, we can also put in values. We know the EMF is equal to 6. We know the current is 0 0.6, uh, 2R plus R. Okay, question 7.1.2. Four. Okay, both of these answers are correct. Okay, and we'd get two marks for them. 7.1.4 is doing the same thing, um, this time for the parallel circuit. Okay, so we can say that the EMF is equal to I2 R external plus R. Okay, but remember uh, R parallel is equal to 1 over R plus 1 over r, sorry, 1 over r parallel is equal to 1 over r plus that, okay? So we can get, let's get this quickly, so 1 over r parallel is going to be, so r parallel is equal to our external, it's going to be, um, let's say we have common denominator r um, over 2, so r parallel Inverting both sides is R over 2. So R external here is equal to R parallel, which is equal to R over 2. So we can say that the EMF is equal to I2, the R external we know is R over 2, plus small r. And that, again, is a perfectly acceptable answer, but if we wanted to, we can say it is 6 is equal to, we've been given 1.5, R over 2 plus R. Okay, again, perfectly correct, both answers. Okay, um, let me give myself some space. Cool stuff. So 7.1.5. Uh, use your equation in question one. Okay, so use these two equations uh, to calculate the resistance. Uh, okay, so basically what it's trying to tell us is that we have two equations and two unknowns. 
So what we can do is we can solve them simultaneously. So I'm going to give this uh, equation 1 and that equation 2. So if we look at equation 1, we're working with 6 is equal to 0 0.6, 2r plus r. Okay, this can be converted, dividing by 0 0.6, we get 10 is equal to r plus 2r. And that, I am going to say, is equation uh, 3. Okay, uh, then the next one we're looking at is going to be 6 equals 1,5. Uh, r plus uh, r over 2 plus r okay and solving for that divide both sides by 1.5 we get 4 is equal to r uh, plus r over 2 okay and that's equation 4 then what I'm going to do is I'm going to do a soldier sum and I'm going to take 3 minus 4 so equation 3 minus 4 so 10 minus 4 is 6 is equal to r minus r is 0 plus 2r minus a half r is equal to 3 over 2r okay the only unknown here is r and so we can calculate big r so r is equal to 4 units of ohms okay now that we know that i'm just going to substitute 4 ohms into equation three so we have 10 minus 2 times 4 so small r is equal to 2 ohms oh they don't even ask that they just want a big r but anyway we've done that and we've done small r as well okay cool stuff so we have our 3d marks okay next question says 7.1.6 is again another definitions three definitions in this question so far it says define power Power is the, okay, so we can say power is the rate at which work is done. Okay, that's an acceptable definition. And then it says calculate the power dissipated by one resistor in diagram 7B. Okay, so 7B is the lower one, and we want to know the power dissipated by one resistor. Okay, so 7.1.7. .7. Okay, let's zoom out. Hopefully you guys can still see that. Basically, we're going to use the equation uh, power equals I squared R. Okay, so we know that the current is going to split evenly because of the... Um, and because the resistances are the same, so we're going to have uh, 1.5 over 2 squared times the resistance, which we just calculated, of 4. So if we plug that into a calculator, we get B power equaling 2,25 units of watts. And that is that. And we get ourselves uh, 3 marks. And cool stuff. And the question continues. A third resistor... R is connected in parallel with the existing uh, circuit. State whether the reading of the voltmeter would increase, decrease, or stay the same. Okay, so the question is basically, um, let's draw out the circuit very quickly here. So what we have is this. Okay, so we have a one resistor R. So this is our current circuit. Uh, and now we're adding another resistor um, in parallel okay so the question says the voltmeter reading would increase decrease or say stay the same okay so what happens to let's see the circuit resistance when we add in parallel decreases so the circuit resistance is going to decrease okay so the external uh, because of our, our parallel is going to go down okay so therefore the circuit current is going to increase using v equals ir okay so our voltage has stayed the same for the external circuit uh, and the resistance has gone down so to balance it the current must go up 
okay? And then we also know that V is equal to the EMF minus I times small r, okay? We know that the EMF is the same, okay? But we know that I, I has gone up and the resistance of the internal circuit is the same. So we are now minusing a bigger number from the EMF, so therefore the voltage V goes down. Okay, so the reading decreases. Okay, cool stuff. Question 7.2. Okay, so it says two different bulbs A and B are connected in parallel to a potential difference of 12 volts. Uh, bulb A glows more brightly than B. What does this mean? It's more current is the meaning of that. Okay, so let's draw out our circuit 7.2. Okay, so our circuit's going to look something like this. Um, this was 12 volts. We have got a bulb A and a bulb B. And let's say this is more bright than that. Okay, so now we can answer some questions. 7.2.1. Another definition, so that's four definitions in this question alone. Potential difference is the work done per unit positive charge. Okay, cool stuff. 7.2.2. 2 .2. Which bulb has the greater potential difference across it? Okay, so when we connect, if we connected a voltmeter, both of these are in parallel, therefore they are the same. So neither, or yeah, we could say neither. They would have exactly the same voltage across it, which would be the 12 volts if there's no internal resistance. Okay, 7.2.3. Which bulb carries the greater current? Okay, so I already established that bulb A glows more brightly, so therefore bulb A will carry the most more current. Okay, so we also know that V of A equals I of A times R of A, and V of B is equal to I of B, R of B. But we know that V of A, or the voltage of A, is equal to the voltage of B. So these two things are the same. Okay, so the next question it says, which bulb has the greatest resistance? So 7.2.4. So we know that this has a high current, high, high current, so it must have a lower voltage, I mean a lower resistance. The current through B is lower, so the resistance of that must be higher to balance it out. So bulb B would have the greater resistance. Okay, and that is that question done. So, um, yeah, thanks for watching, guys. I hope you guys found it useful. Um, yeah.